All right, so here's a close-up look at the Berkheimer Classic uh, four weight, 11 foot four inch. Uh, we kind of consider it a trout spay rod, but you can do all sorts of stuff with it. Let's see if I can give you a good close-up of kind of the finish and what that rod looks like in addition to being a beautiful casting rod. It's just got amazingly well finished components. Um, kind of zoom in a little bit. I know sometimes it's a little hard to see in the still photos on the internet, but this will give you a little bit better look at what the wraps look like, what the blank looks like. Um, just super high grade cork. It's got some of those kind of high density um, additions in the, uh, the kind of the high use points like at the butt end and uh, the ends of the cork where you'll get uh, erosion from traditional cork. So uh, that's kind of what the rod looks like there. And uh, the setup I've got on there today is uh, an OPST uh, commando head, uh, 275 grains. Um, that's the light blue shooting head right there. Uh, found a two, 275 grain head to throw really well on the four weight. And uh, on the sink tip end of things there, the black line that you can see uh, that's rigged up on there. We've got an OPST uh, bucket series sink tip and uh, uh, just as far as reel goes uh, the reel we chose for this one is a Lampston Speedster with a full frame design so that the uh, the monofilament running line which happens to be an OPST laser line on there at 30 pounds uh, for a light line like this uh, tends to not get pulled through and a full frame design for light mono running line on this trout space stuff is critical so show you a few casts and uh, show you what the rod can do. Okay, Joe at Red's Fly Shop here doing a review of the Berkheimer Classic 4 weight. Uh, we'll just call it a trout spay rod, but you can catch all sorts of stuff on this little rod. Um, I've cast this rod a few times before, but I put a little bit more time on it today. And one thing I will just tell people is uh, be prepared for this rod to bend quite a bit, probably a little bit more than what you might expect. The deceptive thing I found about this rod though, although it, it flexes nice and deep, and I'll, I'll either throw a couple of still photos in or I'll try to put one of these casts in slow motion. The rod bends really deep, but man does it have a surprising rebound. And uh, that's just because it's made with very high quality uh, components and graphite. Um, but the rod throws fantastic. We set these up with very light monofilament lines, say 30 pound mono running line on the back end. When you deal with shooting heads that are very light, like 275 grains on this one, you want a very light mono running line in order to effectively shoot line to distance. And this rod throws extremely well. Uh, nothing to complain about here uh, from that standpoint. We've been catching smaller trout today, anything from 10 to 16 inches. It's perfect for that. Uh, but I wouldn't hesitate to fish for light summer steelhead with this rod, even the four weight. Uh, I'd be very comfortable uh, on something up to about seven pounds on this. Any more than that, uh, you're probably not doing right by the fish because you're going to play a little bit long. But say any summer steelhead up to seven pounds would be great. Uh, in, in just kind of forewarning you, oh, that is just too much fun. Uh, and just forewarning you about the, the limitations of the rod, the number one thing you're going you're gonna to bump into is just fly size with these light rods. Uh, yes, it's a, it's a two-handed rod and it will throw a long ways. It's very efficient. It will throw a great loop. Uh, but I've got another fly here and uh, it's not going to be in very good focus, but I'm just going to try to show it to you. That's a dumbbell-eyed sculpin right there. And when you bump into this bigger stuff in like the number six and eight range, you're probably going to struggle on distance a little bit. I want you to know that getting into this. Uh, these commando heads or a, a, an extremely short, you know, any type of extremely short Skagit head, it will throw those bigger flies, but you're going to have a lot more efficiency and enjoyment out of a much smaller fly. Unweighted flies, especially marabou based flies, are going to cast much better. This is a very fine fly rod. and. Uh, very fine fly rod and when you bog it down like that you're not going to get that casting enjoyment or efficiency out of it uh, at that point if you're throwing those very large sculpin patterns like the one i showed you consider the five weight at that point and something a little bit heavier uh, but as far as the overall rod goes you're going to get exactly what you pay for they're near a thousand bucks and uh, you're going to get that um, you're going to get that quality it's going to just jump out of the water for you like this I'm just throwing a very relaxed, 
cack-handed snap key, and granted I'm a pretty efficient caster, but anybody is going to be able to enjoy casting this rod and be effective with it.